Good morning, St. Louis! Welcome to episode 11 of the SDL Coffee Tour, where we take you on a journey to discover the best coffee spots in the city. Today, I'm exploring La Finca Coffee Roasters, the first authentic Colombian-style coffee shop in St. Louis. As soon as you step inside, you'll be greeted by the delightful aroma of fresh coffee, the soothing sound of old Latin music on vinyl, and beautiful artwork that pops against the white and dark wood interior of the shop. The vibrant colors of the paintings, combined with the natural light streaming in from the large front windows, make for a visually stunning experience. In this episode, I had the pleasure of trying La Finca's Choice Espresso Roast, a velvety smooth cappuccino, and a deliciously strong Colombian-style coffee brewed with piloncillo cane sugar. I also couldn't resist sampling one of their delectable pastries while enjoying a cozy seat by the fireplace. Overall, my visit to La Finca Coffee Roasters was truly delightful, and I highly recommend that you stop in and try their fantastic Colombian-style coffee for yourself. So let's dive into this week's episode together and savor each sip. As I scanned the assortment of pastries at La Finca Coffee Roasters, the monoplace caught my eye. This Mexican pan dulce, whose name means brass knuckles in Spanish, was made of flaky puff pastry layers dusted with sugar and dipped in chocolate. The pastry also had an apricot glaze and was topped with chopped walnuts. As I took my first bite, I was pleasantly surprised by the crunchiness and texture of the pastry which had a lovely sweetness and a nutty chocolate flavor. It was the perfect accompaniment to my cup of coffee, and I highly recommend trying this unique and delicious pastry when you visit La Finca Coffee Roasters. First up today, I couldn't resist trying La Finca's authentic Colombian-style coffee, Tinto. Traditionally, Tinto is made by mixing all the leftover coffee beans together, resulting in a double strong brew. At La Finca, they take it to the next level by serving their espresso roast Americano style with piloncillo cane sugar, making it double strong and double sweet. The result is a deliciously bold and flavorful cup of coffee that's perfect for anyone with a sweet tooth. Up next, I decided to try the cappuccino made with La Finca's Choice Espresso Roast. The presentation was gorgeous, with latte art on top that was almost too pretty to drink. The coffee had a light, chocolatey aroma that was very enticing. While I found the flavor to be a bit milk-forward for my liking, I could still pick up hints of brown sugar, roasted nuts, and chocolate in the background. The cappuccino had a nice body and moderate levels of acidity and sweetness, and overall, while it wasn't my favorite coffee at La Finca, I still enjoyed this cappuccino and appreciated the skill and care that went into making it. And for my last drink, I went with the classic espresso. And let me tell you, it was everything I wanted and more. La Finca's Choice Espresso is truly amazing. It has a strong roasted nut and chocolate aroma with a rich, velvety, chocolatey flavor. The light berry notes with caramel and earthy undertones come through on the finish, creating a perfectly balanced taste. The sweetness is just right, and the bitterness is bold but not overpowering. The light, soft crema on top is the perfect finishing touch. The presentation of the espresso is spot on with a tray of three chocolate covered espresso beans and sparkling water served alongside the espresso all on a beautiful dark wood tray. It's a simple yet elegant presentation that perfectly matches the simplistic beauty of the entire shop. Overall it was a marvelous espresso that I would highly recommend. Thanks for joining me on this week's coffee adventure. I hope you enjoy exploring La Finca Coffee Roasters in the Grove with me and all the amazing flavors they have to offer. What really stood out to me today was the attention to detail in every step of the coffee process. 
and the beautiful presentation of every drink today. La Finca truly embodies the art and culture of coffee. As for me, I'll definitely be stopping in again to indulge in another cup of their amazing coffee. And I can't wait to continue exploring the thriving coffee culture around St. Louis with you on the STL Coffee Tour. Until next time, remember to savor each sip and enjoy the pleasure of another damn fine cup of coffee. Have a great day, everyone.